Welcome to TechSet Tutorials. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to look at issues with the keyword var. Basically, when you define a, a variable using var, uh, we are going to look at issues associated with it, mainly into uh, scoping issues and hoisting. And we are going to look at some solutions. Now, keyword var is, has been there uh, ever since JavaScript was created uh, back in 1997-98. When the JavaScript was created, um, it wasn't a very serious language. It was just a simple scripting language that uh, nobody had imagined would become this dominant. So there were, it was designed a bit hastily and the remnants of some of the mistakes that were made back then still exist in var. So we are going to look at them. Uh, one of the biggest mistakes uh, JavaScript has um, with var is when you define a variable using um, keyword var, you that variable gets what is it called function scope. Function scope, what it really means. Uh, it means uh, when I define a, a function uh, and a variable that is defined within the boundary of this function, it's available throughout the function. So let's say I have this function x and I am going to define a variable y using keyword var. Um, it's equal to, let's say, 1 here. So this y is actually accessible throughout this function. So this is the area where it's accessible. So if I put uh, uh, console log here to see if I can access it, uh, if I run this, I would get one, which means it's accessible. Now, if I take this console log from here and put it outside this uh, function, let me clear it. And if now if I run this, I would get an error it says y is not defined. So basically it doesn't respect any of the boundaries, but it respects function boundaries. Now, a lot of languages, uh, they don't have function scope. They, they, they have what is it called block scope. And what block scope is, is that uh, any block um, that is basically open body between open curly bracket and closed curly bracket, it could be an if statement. So if I have if, and uh, if I, let's say if I put this variable inside here, uh, block scope means it should only exist between this block. Um, mostly because, uh, you know, when you define local variables to this if statement, it should only accessible inside and they would die uh, once you exit this uh, block. They get garbage collected in JavaScript. Uh, but the problem with var is it doesn't respect the blocks boundary. It only respects function boundaries, which means if I do console log here, it will still exist here, which it does. So it does not respect if statement or for statement boundaries. And this is a huge issue. Uh, the problem is, let's say if you have a if statement here, and if I have another if statement, which is doing completely different logic and I want to uh, have another variable y here I cannot have it because this y is still exists here now redefining this variable inside won't create any issue won't create any problem but it's super confusing uh, another thing about uh, another thing about uh, scoping in JavaScript is that JavaScript fo follows uh, what is it called lexical scoping, uh, which means um, things defined outside is available inside. So uh, here I have a function x and uh, the y is within this function x, but then function x has another function called z. So if I try to access this variable y inside of his, if I inside of the z, um, I can still access it. I access it because, uh, as I said before, the function scope for x is 
throughout this, which includes Z. So Y is also available inside Z. So you can access it inside uh, from Z. Um, so let's say if I run this, I'll get one. So the next uh, problem area for var keyword is hoisting. Hoisting is, in English language, means lift something up or raise something. Um, so what does this variable has to do with raising something up? Let's look at it. So we looked at that uh, the variable that is defined inside a function is available throughout the function. Um, however, if you look at this, um, I have defined this variable at this point here. So, but what if I put this console log before the definition of y? What do I get? So if I run this, I get undefined, which means it is still accessible. I haven't given it a value. It did not give me an error. So for example, let's say there is no variable y, uh, z here, right? If I do z, it would give me an error, so z is not defined. So it's not giving me this error saying y is not defined if I console log here. Uh, it simply gives me undefined, means I have defined the variable, but I haven't assigned any value to it, which is correct. So that's what the hoisting really means. What it does is um, whenever you define a variable within the body of a function, um, the value is available, value one is available from that point to the end of the function. But before this variable, it gives you y equal to undefined. So what it essentially does is var y, this means y is undefined. And at this point here, it would give it a value. So y is actually the de definition of y was hoisted to the top, even though it was defined here. As a programmer, you're not, you're not expecting this. And when you get this, you are very surprised. And sometimes you don't know why things are happening the way it is. So one way to do it is when you want to do something like this, don't do it. Always define all the variables at the top of the function. Even if you're using um, somewhere inside, uh, do this and uh, do this when you want to give it a value so i usually when i use it when i'm using var i hoist all the variable manually instead of program instead of javascript doing it so that actually i know what's going on this is also another uh, confusing interview question um, when you go to an interview interviewer can ask you this really silly question that I think it's kind of unfair, but uh, this is what they would do. They would say var equal to one, and they would give another definition of y here somewhere, say var y equal to two or something. And then they would put a console log here, y. And they would ask you, hey, what is the value of uh, y at this line? And you would look at this y here and say, hey, it's 2. So it should be available throughout this area, right? So you would say 2. And then from here, it's 1, something like that, right? But the answer is, this should give you undefined. So if I run this, it should give you undefined. However, the funny thing is, as soon as I remove this line if I comment this line out now if I run this it would be two and uh, so be careful when you go to in JavaScript interview you might get this 
Uh, another issue with war is, well, I wouldn't say issue with war, but overall, uh, until probably 2015, uh, there was a, not a good way to define a constant. Um, um, war lets you change the value anytime. So if you define a variable with y, uh, you can change the value anytime. Um, but you, in a programming language, you need a, a constant like pi, where you cannot change the value once you define it the first time. So if you want to define a constant uh, in ES5 um, or older version of JavaScript, you would have to do something like this. You have to say object .define property, um, and then you have to define a variable name here, which is pi, and you need to give it a value. Now, once you give this value, this value will stay with it uh, because you would say writable equal to false, uh, which means you cannot uh, rewrite the value. And so if I do, let's say, console log pi, and run this, I would get 3.14. Now, if I try to do something like this, uh, clear, and if I do, let's say, pi equal to 2, and try to run this, it would still give me the 3.14. Uh, it's not giving me error here, which is a problem. So to solve all this uh, problems with var uh, javascript introduced two new keywords uh, one is let which will be similar to var but since var is a function scope uh, let has what is called block scope um, and another keyword it introduced is const first look at const so remember um, how we define pi here using define property instead now i can do const pi equal to 3.14 and if I run this I would get 3.14 if I try to reassign the value here let's say 2 it would give me an error uh, saying assignment to constant variable now let's look at the keyword let which solves the two issues um, it gives you the the block scope and uh, it doesn't do hoisting so here I have this function x. Inside, I'm going to have a block, which could be any block. I'm just going to put an if statement. Um, and I'm just going to have a variable y defined using keyword let equal to 1. And now, if I try to access this variable outside this block, it won't be available. Remember before, using var, it was available now it says why is not defined also another thing is um, if I try to do it before uh, the assignment of it it would also give you why is not defined uh, so that's all folks um, I hope you learned something and if you did uh, please subscribe uh, give a comment and like the video thank you